Hey guys, what's up? It's McNeil from uh, Louisa Automotive and today I'm gonna be talking a little bit about Tesla earnings because on my way home last night, I was actually uh, listening to uh, the Tesla earnings call and uh, I just kinda wanna share what I learned there, uh, not only to do with Tesla, but the overall EV slash uh, automotive market. So if you are buying and selling cars, uh, it, it's just, you know, just my thoughts of what's going on. Uh, let's get a little bit into that conversation. <music> My name is McNeil and I'm the owner of Louis Auto. Okay, so first of all, what I'm learning here is it seems like EV cars are gonna get cheaper and cheaper. Uh, well, specifically the Tesla cars. Uh, so if you are selling Tesla cars, I would say be very careful not to hang on to those inventory too long and try to flip them quick. Uh, it's not the era of Tesla going up in value like it used to uh, around pandemic time or because you know it's hard to get the vehicles. Um, the prices will go down. And the reason why they're gonna go down is apparently Elon Musk was mentioning that the batteries are readily available. There are actually a good supply of batteries so uh, Tesla basically could negotiate essentially, I'm thinking, uh, for better batteries. Keep in mind, they produce some of their own batteries as well, but it can produce as much as they need. So uh, if they have to buy batteries from other suppliers who are not giving those batteries to the big names like the GMs and the Fords and stuff, and I'll tell you what, why they're probably not getting giving those batteries to those guys because they don't want it. Um, if Tesla takes more of those batteries, they can produce more cars, they can produce more cars, uh, the price of the cars will go down. And uh, this $25,000 um, uh, Tesla, which will never be 25,000 Canadian, you know, that's probably potentially 25,000 US dollars you're talking about there. Um, apparently it's gonna be coming by the end of this year at best, uh, maybe early 2026 as per the earnings call that's what they're trying to aim for i'm guessing uh but they haven't even revealed the car so probably going to be revealing it in that timeline instead and you should expect seeing that car probably on i would say 2026 not 2020 not end of this year and 2025 i believe maybe 26 maybe early 2027 you might see that car i don't think it's coming that fast however what i'm trying to get at here is if they have a 25,000 us dollar entry tesla no matter what, it's going to push more people to that car because people who want an EV and there is not a very good quality uh, affordable EV, if you made a $25,000 Tesla, uh, you're gonna be taking off some of the uh, Model 3 sales, not maybe the Y, but maybe the Model 3 sales. And so I believe the Model 3s will get cheaper too. And not only that I believe it'll get cheaper, I, I know it will get cheaper uh, because if you look at it back in the day, when I used to screw around on the Tesla website, because I always just got those Model 3s, uh, if I were to do a performance model, uh, after I scoop it up, the car would be at least uh, $100,000 Canadian after I build that car. Right now, I, I could probably try to do one here quickly so you can see what the price is now, but it used to be about $100,000 after self-driving and all that kind of stuff, okay? Uh, FSD price is going down. Um, the Model Three performance just came out. Actually, it's pretty nice. They redid the seats because every time you buy a performance car or a performance Tesla, the seats are all the same. But when you buy like an M package or even a, a, a Hyundai N, like all of them have these nice race seats, make you feel like you paid premium for something. So Tesla can finally give you a nice racing uh, uh, seat in that uh, Model Three, and the car I believe is about forty-five thousand U.S. dollars. Uh, maybe that's after the tax credit, but I'm gonna bill one here and see what the price is in Canadian. Uh, but the car is looking pretty good. And if, if that car uh, is that reasonable, I, I mean like the rest of the manufacturers gotta step the game up. But instead of setting the game up, remember I told you the other manufacturers are not taking many of those batteries and that's because all of them keep pushing the can down the road. They keep, uh, they cannot keep up with Tesla. They cannot make those EV cars at an affordable price. Uh, so they are basically pushing back manufacturing, even right here in Canada, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Ford is pushing back the expansion that they had in the Oakville plant where they were supposed to build EV cars. Um, a lot of the other manufacturers 
are actually pushing back the deadline of um, how many cars they plan on producing. Uh, Ford shut down one of it, I believe it was the night shift of the, the, the lightning truck. So while a lot of manufacturers are slowing down on uh, how many EV cars they can produce or willing to produce, uh, they try and experiment with hybrid shit instead, which I'm not a fan of. I think you either stay with gas or you just stick with EV either or like don't overcomplicate the system. Um, Tesla is actually still doubling down and will be pushing out more EVs and be pushing out more um, affordable EVs. So with that said, I believe if you are in the market for an EV, there is great opportunity, there's great deals out there. You just have to be patient with your buying. And if you are selling those EVs, do not sit on those cars. You gotta move them quickly because there will be constant price changing in the market, okay? Uh, don't hang on to those Teslas like they're gold. You need to sell them because you bought them to sell it. You better flip it quick or you will lose money. So, you know, I can't say it any clearer than that. Uh, so you kind of play hot potatoes with that shit when you're trying to sell it, okay? Uh, and there are tons and tons and tons of uh, EVs on the market right now, Tesla specifically use Teslas because people are trading the old Model 3s to get the new shape Model 3, especially if they want the performance one. Uh, so there are lots of EVs on the market, so be careful. And uh, you know, and, and just to end this video for those who stayed to the end, I'm actually pretty excited about this freaking uh, Tesla bot um, because you know what, man, a, a, a short on labor. I believe a lot of manufacturing jobs could use one of those robots, could use those robots, and that'll be a big game changer for Tesla. So if you're an investor in Tesla, I think uh, that's more valuable to me than the car business, is if you could create you know, a workforce. If you think about it as a business owner myself, I know one of the most expensive uh, parts of running a business is your employees. So obviously it's the real estate where you run the business, whether you have a mortgage or you're paying rent, that's where a lot of your money gonna go. And the next big batch is gonna be employee, your employees. Just imagine I can pay a one-time salary. So uh, if I were to pay, fuck, I don't know what price they're gonna have that at, but even they have those robots for let's say $40,000. If you're to buy a robot for $40,000, that's a one annual salary, less than an annual salary. You pay that robot once and that, that robot can be answering the phones <laughs> or I don't know, like changing tires, uh, you know, like uh, like there, there's so much opportunity of what you could do with that robot. And maybe if uh, this channel grow enough and I have enough people who are interested in that, when that finally comes out, that might be a few years from now, but maybe we could buy one of those robots and run it in the shop and uh, have uh, those robots work alongside us. And uh, I think that'll be pretty interesting. I'm actually excited about that. Talk to you later. Catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, do all that stuff. And check your rims out on our website, louisa.ca, if you're interested in getting some rims for your car this summer. Thanks for watching.